Minnesota Timberwolves fans, I owe your entire state an apology. In case you guys were not aware, I very incorrectly called the Timberwolves a fraud number one seed in a video just a few months ago. So let me say three quick things about this whole scenario. Number one, even though they did not get the number one seed, it does not make me any less wrong about what I said because the word fraud and Timberwolves should have never been used in the same sentence. And I was wrong. And as a recording, they're actually down three to two to Denver. And you guys are going to say, oh, of course, you waited till now. No, 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 no. I had things going on in my life. I didn't have time to get to this. But win, lose, or draw in this series, this is a real motherfucking team. And to me, they're what's beautiful about basketball. They play real defense. They play for each other. They're rallying around a young rising star to, who, to me, looks like Michael Jordan going up against the Celtics. An insanely talented young player who's going to be the star who might just be outmatched by a better top-to-bottom team with Denver right now. But nevertheless, I was wrong. The second thing I want to say, and this is not so much to Minnesota fans, but for anyone who wants to enter the sports content space, and those of you who know, I was at ESPN for three years. I was at La Liga for two years. And let me say this about working in sports media. If you're the type of person who cannot admit when you're wrong, don't enter this space. It's sports. If you take it so seriously, and if you take yourself so seriously that you can't admit that you whiffed on something, probably I would say politics is probably the better fit for you. And lastly, number three, to you Minnesota people, it is perfectly fine to hate the opinion, but you shouldn't ever hate the person, especially if you're watching this program because it wasn't all of you, but there were a lot of personal comments in there that weren't very friendly, took things a little too far. And when I started this platform, that was never the goal. The goal was never hate. The goal was never angst. The goal was never to create enemies. And I'm hoping that one of you Minnesota fans hears this and says, damn, you know what? That motherfucker, Hank, he actually is a nice dude. Because there is a place called Otter Tail Lake in Minnesota that I have always wanted to visit. It's one of the most beautiful lakes in the country. Someone fact check me if I'm wrong here, but Minnesota has over 10,000 lakes, right? And I've always wanted to visit any of those lakes, but especially Otter Tail Lake. So any of you Minnesota fans, it's all love from my end. And I hope one day one of you has a house out there and you can invite the man and we'll sit out there on the lake and have a drink or 10. But we're getting some comments here in the chat. So let me.